What's going on everybody? I want to show you something on a, uh, a vehicle here. I think it's a 2017 Yukon. And when you go to do a new TCM in this vehicle, just so you know, you will have the shift park message. And you see the Prindle here is not highlighting any gear. And we are in park. I found this vehicle very interesting because when you go to start it, foot on the brake, and push the start button it will start and run it doesn't know what gear it's in but it will start and run and to turn it off i just go ahead and hit the power button but check this out you cannot turn the vehicle on usually on most gms you push and hold the power button and you will have a uh, a response and it's saying you are driver one for memory features okay I cannot get the key to turn to the run position. Um, this is kind of confusing. I've actually done one of these before and it was the same thing. So when you have a new TCM, you cannot turn the key to the run position, no matter what you do. Um, I've tried, turn, you know, you can't really turn it off. It says start, stop, but I cannot get it to turn all the way off or all the way on because it says uh, shift park. It's uh, action required. So as you see, the radio is on. I cannot turn anything off. I want to show you something over here on GDS2. Um, we're going to go ahead to Vehicle Diagnostics. This is using TechLine Connect. I want to read Vehicle DTC and ID information. Get a baseline of what's going on here. We'll get a complete list of all the codes here for the vehicle. Click on Details. And these are all the vehicle's uh, codes right now. So Control Model Not Programmed. We expect that. Um, another one's popped up as I go here. We got calibrations not learned for all the uh, windows, which is okay. Um, park assist, control output, shorts ground. So these are history codes. So we're just going to create a report. Guys, it's always good to go ahead and create a report so you save this information for your customer. On this screen, I'll just be hitting. I'll be hitting Control P. And that makes it so I can save it as a PDF. And we're gonna save that. We go ahead and save that. And just so you guys know, the keyboard shortcut is Alt F4. If you hit Alt F4, it'll close down whatever menu we have open. So we wanna go ahead and go right into SPS2. And we're gonna go ahead and start our program of the transmission control module. And like I said, I did a little bit of research. The first one of these I came into, looking all around trying to figure out what I had to do to make the key turn on but uh, it just won't turn on and you just I felt like I was rolling the dice to uh, go ahead and program it but that is not the case uh, once again SPS is doing its funny thing where it will not load but if you hit the X button and then go back into SPS 2 it will load right up now I don't know what that bug is GM's got they got some issues going on they're still working out the bugs but overall TechLine Connect uh, has been working out pretty well for me so I'm going to go ahead and probably fast forward this for you guys. And we're getting towards the end of the road here. So you can see we'll go to SPS we'll watch this and as it gets programmed, you'll see the window probably come to life. Weird glare off that LED, huh? There you go. Once it's done programming, you see the key turned off and the printle came up for a second. So there we go, programming complete. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn my key on. And if you just just like I said before, if I press and hold, now I'm holding it. There we go. Comes to life. So that's how it should be. So that's just interesting. I want to share that with you guys. If you don't know that, um, something to keep in mind. If, if you got a key that won't turn on or turn off and turn to the run position when you're doing a newer transmission control module, that's the issue there. So, hey, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you learned something, that's great. Like, subscribe. If your shop or yourself have any questions about J2534 Pro Ring, mainly GM, Ford, Chrysler, and Honda, I can set all that stuff up and walk you through it. Uh, go ahead and reach out to me on Facebook, handsonautotraining.com as well. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.